How to create a two-frame animation. In this video, I'll show you how to create an animation using two or more clipart images. First, choose the clipart you want to use. For this video, we'll use sample clipart that is available to all Lynx users. In the top left corner, click on the plus and choose sample clipart. Then, click on animations. The previously empty clipart pane should now have images for creating animations with two or more shapes. Look at the clipart choices and think of ones you want to use. Make sure you have a turtle in the work area. If there isn't one, hatch a new one. I'll do my initial coding while the turtle is still in its original shape. By doing this, I can see exactly where its head is pointing and therefore where it will go. This is really important. Get everything working properly before putting clip art on. So let's get the turtle moving across the page like in the previous animations video. For this animation video, I'm going to use the two shapes of a dog running from left to right. My turtle is pointing up, but the dog is pointing to the right. Let's fix that. In the command center, type right 90. The head of the turtle should now point in the same direction as the dog clip art does. Now type repeat 30, forward 5, wait 1, and hit enter or return. The turtle is moving, but it sure doesn't look like a dog. So let's now turn the turtle into a dog. If I put one shape of a dog on my turtle, it will look like a dog, but not like a running dog. Let's see how it would look anyways. Type set sh30 in the command center, hit enter. Why 30? because this is the number of the dog shape I want to use. Now go back to this line, repeat 30, forward 5, wait 1, and hit enter again. The dog glides across the page, but I want to see its legs move. So let's undo this and try a new trick. I'll click undo twice so that the turtle goes back to its original shape. Two of the dog shapes in the clip art pane look similar, but they are slightly different. Remember the numbers of these two shapes. Let's set the turtle shape not to one clip art shape, but to two of them at the same time. To do this, you need to run this command. Set shape 3031 and hit enter. Note that you need square brackets around the list of numbers you are using and also a space between the numbers and no other symbols like commas. The turtle turned into a dog, but the real magic happens when you get it moving across the page with the instruction that we wrote already. Go to this line, repeat 30, forward 5, wait 1, and hit enter once more. Cool, right? But maybe you like cats more than dogs. How would you change the inputs in the command center to get a cat to move from right to left? I'll give you some hints. First, turn the turtle to point in the correct direction. You should use the opposite of right. Second, you can use all three cat shapes. So instead of having shapes numbers 30 and 31 in the command center, what number should you use to get a cat to walk? FYI, you can use as many clip art shapes as you want, not just two. You now know how to turn your turtle into a running dog or a walking cat or even a flying bird, whatever clip art images you have. Just get it pointing in the correct direction and set its shape to the list of clip art numbers that you need. That's all for now. Have fun coding with links.